On today's episode of Moondog Industries, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add Bluetooth connectivity to your old pair of Range EarPro. Hey, Moondog here. Now, we all know that hearing protection is not just important, it's vital at the range. And that's why I always bring and wear uh, hearing protection. These are um, electronic earmuffs made by Howard Light. These are my Howard Light Impact Sports, and I've had these for a few years. And to today, currently, I'm using these Earmores, uh, which I really also like, and I have reviews on both of these. Uh, I'll include a link in the video description. But while these are great electronic earmuffs, you know, they allow you to uh, listen and hear other people at the range at a normal or enhanced volume, and they cut off loud noises like gunfire, as you need to, to protect your, your hearing. What they do lack is a way to connect to modern devices via Bluetooth. Now, as we all know nowadays, Bluetooth has taken over the world in terms of, uh, of audio, uh, wireless audio to be specific. And uh, well, these devices do have a, an audio port um, here, as well as on my Howard lights back here. So you could uh, attach, um, attach these, used to be able to attach these to your phones. Unfortunately, nowadays, these newer phones don't even come, out, come with audio ports. They just have a USB charging port. Now, yeah, you could get a USB-C to audio adapter, but the problem is then you can't charge your phone because you know, the port is taken over. But I'm gonna show you an easy way to convert these to Bluetooth. Now, of course, you could buy a new set of Bluetooth um, Earmuffs, they, I think they start at like around 70 bucks plus to over $100, but so is it really worth 100 bucks to basically get the same headphones that you currently own? Well, no. All you need is one of these. This is a J25 Bluetooth receiver sent to me by Comsoon uh, to test out, and I actually found out that they work with headphones, and I'm going to show you um, how easy it is to set that up, as well as you'll get a chance to listen to how well the audio works. Um, first, we'll take a quick look at what you get in the box. Okay, this is what you get in the box. The box itself is pretty uh, standard looking in terms of uh, small electronics from China. The J25 uh, Bluetooth receiver is what it's called, so let's take a look at what you get inside. Okay, we have a USB-C cable. We have a standard uh, 3.5 millimeter male-to-male um, -male, uh, connector cable. Oh, and we have a male-to-male -male adapter. And the unit itself is rather small. Gosh, this is about the size of, say, a um, remote fob uh, for, for your car. So. Very compact. Okay, so let's turn this on and see if it has a charge. And yes, in fact, it is two thirds charged. So we won't need to uh, use the USB charger for the moment. And it is automatically looking for a connection, a Bluetooth connection. So let me charge up the phone here. Yes, I see it, J25. So let's click on that and see if we're paired up. Connecting, yes. All right, we're paired up. Okay, how to connect one of these to one of these. But before I do that, I would kindly like to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, of course, share this with uh, your friends in the gun community. And if you haven't already, please uh, check out my new YouTube channel, Moondog R&D. That's where I review photo and video gear and all things geekdom, as well as have a lot of reviews on cool gadgets like this J25. So, the J25. All right, let's talk about how to attach one of these units to your old headsets. In this case, I, these are my ear mores. And if you noticed closely, it's already attached to this unit. Here, let me open this up. And here is my um, Bluetooth unit attached via a short right angle cable. And it's just attached with just a little bit of Velcro here. And I'll include a link to where you can get um, this little right angle cable along with Velcro, which of course you can probably get anywhere. But this makes it super handy because uh, you can detach the unit to plug it in to char recharge it. And once it's recharged, you can just plug it back in 
Bob's your uncle, you're ready to go. And it um, it tucks away pretty, pretty well. It looks just like it used to, so it takes up no space. Um, and you still have very easy access to your power switch along with your activation button uh, for taking calls. Uh, and it does have a built-in microphone so they can hear you. Just um, be mindful, of course, to step away from the firing line so they aren't annoyed by all the gunfire. But the audio is actually pretty decent. Um, speaking of audio, here, let's take the unit out and we'll plug it into my Howard lights and we'll take a listen. We just plug our patch cable to the device. And then plug, well, let me see what I'm doing here. There we go. Now I'm turning this front way so you can see what's going on here. And I'm, in fact, here, let me put my microphone inside of my ear muffs and hopefully there's enough room in here to do that so you can hear what I'm hearing. You can hear the, uh, my uh, earmuffs are on. Um, actually, it's not loud enough to trigger them. Okay, there we go. Cut off. And we have our, um, we have my phone already pa um, paired up with uh, the J25, and we are just going to use that to play one of the songs on my playlist. And you can use uh, the volume control on uh, your phone. And it also has volume control on the side. If you press it down, you can adjust the volume up or down. Keep it pressed. Or if you tap it, it'll allow you to skip songs. So, yeah, really handy. And it does, like I mentioned, have a microphone, so you could take a call and they could hear you uh, at the range. If you had okay, hold up. I just had to listen to the footage I just took, um, and it sounded awful. Uh, it has nothing to do with the J25 itself. Uh, it sounded j perfectly fine in my headphones. Unfortunately, the microphone that I'd stuffed into the to the ear cup, well, it's not made to pick up sound in stuffed inside of an ear cup, so it's it sounded weird and distorted. Um, the unit itself sounds much more just normal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this directly into the camera that I'm speaking to you on right now, so that you can more accurately hear what I was hearing. So uh, bear with me here. I'm going to plug this in right now. Okay, so hopefully that little sound snippet gave you a sense of the sound quality that you're going to get directly from the J25. And if you're interested in picking up one of these, uh, they're less than 18 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I've included a link in the video description. If um, you're interested in picking one up, use that link because the channel does get a slight small uh, commission when you use that link and it doesn't cost you any more than if you didn't use that link. And if you found this review, this little mini review to be helpful for you, please remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, if you like this video, please share it on social media. You know, Facebook, forums, MeWe, whatever platform you're on. And if you want to see more videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.